All right, everybody, I got one more look coming to you today and it's a red look. So like a, I'm gonna do pomegranate on my lids. So I'm just gonna kind of do a look. So I'm gonna quickly do my makeup. My colors are amber and mango, like a combination of both. You can apply it two ways. You can like dab it all over your face with your fingers and then take your brush and blend it out. Or you can just dab your brush in it and apply it. So this is my main highlight, like I said. A little bit goes a long way. If you're applying too much product, it doesn't look good. So you're, you're gonna get transfer, it's gonna move around, so. So I'm leaving this spot right here for contour. And I'm only coming about this far and then I'll put a lighter color on after I color correct. All right, so on my forehead, I'm just gonna do amber because if I go too light right here, you can see it. And sorry, I got flames going because they know I wanna record. So the lighter you go, the more texture you're gonna see and you don't necessarily want that. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the color Muse. Same, this is a 3D brush and uses it's a, actually a highlight but i use it as a contour up here on my forehead sometimes contour can look muddy up here on me and i have such a huge forehead that i don't want that if you have a short forehead you're not going to contour your forehead so i you know this is where i Recommend like following a few artists and then you can get ideas from them. But me, I got a humongous forehead and it doesn't help that, I don't, I hope this is hair growth and not hair breakage right here because I can't afford to lose any more hair right there. Okay. Try not to blend it, over blend it. If you over blend it, you're gonna blend out all of your contour. So you can stipple it, stippling it will help All right, now I go in with my powder brush and I like this, this end right here and I'm going to go in with the color Indigo today, which is a darker one. I think Cola is the darkest. And I'm just kind of like creating a swoosh. I My face is getting thinner and my volume is starting to come down here. So I'm trying to like give the appearance of my cheeks lifting by doing this swoosh. You, you could come all the way in here, but with the dark contour like this, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to blend this out too much because my when I put my bronzer on and my blush with my blush and bronzer brush, it will blend it. And if you overblend, um, yeah. I'm not doing my nose today because to me, it just makes my nose look dirty and I hate it. It doesn't help my nose look any thinner. This was also indigo, but make sure you get behind your ears so you don't have a weird line. Okay, taking my dampened perfector sponge. That will help it to kind of blend together. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Concealer Brush and go into my Demi Color, which is 03. And this is a color, well, for me, this is a, yeah, well, I guess Demi is all about color theory and color correction. But if you have blue, peach is the color you wanna use to color that. I actually need like a combination of yellow probably, but hopefully I won't have to do this soon if I keep doing my platelet rich fiber and treatments. I do them all myself. This last treatment was pretty much free because um, the first treatment like was like buying all the supplies and everything, but after that, all free. All right, um, I'm gonna go in, I'm not gonna go in with June because June is, I'm gonna add a pop of brightness. So rather than do that, I'm just gonna add a little bit of amber And I'm talking like the tiniest amount. Okay. 
more product you use, the worse it's gonna look. And especially if you're using too light of a product, it looks way worse. Wow, hair, come on. Just dabbing, picking up excess color. Okay, done with highlight all that. Now I'm gonna go in with my blush. And since this is a red look, I think I'm gonna go in with the color Pop, which is very pigmented. I'm actually gonna do my bronzer first. So I'm gonna go in with the Bella bronzer and either side of the brush. I'm gonna actually use this smaller side today. And then just flip this brush over to the big side. Rounds that baby. I mean, I don't really like a whole lot of bronzing in the winter because, I mean, who am I trying to fool? I'm white. So <laughs> white, pasty, white. Okay, now I'm gonna do like right here on my nose. I'm not calling this contour, I'm just like brightening it up a little bit or adding a little bit of a dimension. Blah, 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 blah. Sometimes I just talk and then it's like, what just came out of your mouth? When I'm editing videos, I'm like, what did you say? All right, now I'm gonna go in with the fluffier side and I'm gonna go back in with that pop color. So I'm just gonna kind of squeeze it, get some color on there. So this is where my contour gets blended. If you like to hold your brush like, some people hold their brushes like this, I can't do it. But. A nice pretty red color. Voila, red. Okay, now I need to put my, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera cause they're just gonna take forever. So I'm taking my P. Louise Eye Base and this is in color 2.5. And you don't set this one, but I actually like this all versus uh, eye primer. So I feel that it helps to like conceal any veins and stuff on the eyelids a little bit more. And it helps the texture of my crinkly ass eyelids better. I catch myself when I'm doing my skincare, like not putting my skincare on my eyelids and I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, sweet. Um, I'm gonna let that set down for a second. I'm gonna kind of pull out some supplies here. All right, I want to show you the look that I'm going for with my dirty phone. So this is a uh, Makeup Geek look. Don't have those colors. I'm using all Saint colors. So I'm using Mahiha. I'm going to use this in the crease. And then I'm going to go on the outer B with the pomegranate, which is a reddish color. And then with Moscow, which is this really uh, orangish brown uh, shimmer color, I'm going to do that like right in the center. So... This is the look that I'm that I'm shooting for. So, gonna get started. I think that's mostly um, dried down, and I'm going to take my cleaning tile, which is just like this piece of foam, and then I'll be able to clean my brushes off if I need to. But for this, I'm going to take the soft dome brush. This is Makeup Geek. Love this new eye bundle set. Wiping my brush off. And I'm going to apply Mahiha in the crease and blend upwards into the transition area to get a soft blended crease. So this is actually where your brownish colors come in handy, like this chai color right here. You could even go like, what color is this? You could even do like stay golden, but I'm going to go on with that, like a couple dabs of chai and I'm going to come right here and I'm going to call that the transition. So then when I need to come back and add a little bit more brown to transition it and uh, um, blend it, this brown's right here. The brown is always a good transition color like a light a light brown okay wiping my brush off again going in here with Mahiha which is this nice purpley pink color 
and then in the crease. So I'm just below that chai brown color that I just put in there. And I'll try not to do like my eyelashes and all that on camera. I still have these uh, uh, Lilac Street lashes that you glue on and they last seven days like you glue them on underneath. But I haven't done them yet. Where's my glue? So I need to sit down and do them this weekend. All right, so I'm not going to add too much color right here since this is like a red look. And I don't want this Mahiha to overpower anything. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my outer B brush. I'm gonna wipe it off, but it's like a, it's a pencil brush. All right, now I'm gonna go in with that pomegranate and we're gonna do the uh, outer lid and blend slightly using a windshield wiper motion to avoid harsh lines. So, and it's okay if I come out a little bit more because I'm gonna clean it up with linen, so. And we don't want this too harsh, it says so. And it's about to here, I think. These brushes just make it so much easier to blend. All right, this eye, I suck at because I can't, like this is my dominant eye, so my eyes are always like, hey, I think I need to be closed or open while you're doing your makeup. See, <laughs> I can't do it. So you stay open. Well, I had monovision LASIK, so this is my distance eye, and then this is my close eye. So <laughs> I think it's like it can't figure it out at this point. I know it used, did not used to be this bad. All right, windshield wiper motions. I, I guess I just didn't realize how that was going to impact, you know, what I needed to see out of my distance eye. <laughs> this eye's got to be open because it's my close one so I guess I never considered why it does that but now I know totally worth it though because now I don't gotta wear freaking contacts and like I have dry eyes so it's not as bad like by 5 p.m. my eyes used to be so red and irritated okay I think yeah. Okay, that's pretty much even. Now I'm going to go in with the Moscow using the multi-purpose brush, which is this one, which is kind of flat. And I'm going to apply the Moscow in the center lid and blend slightly using a windshield wiper motion to avoid harsh lines. Okay. So tapping in my Moscow. here oh I love Moscow why don't I use I man if I could like incorporate this into every single look I probably would so I'm just putting it like on the inner quarter of that pomegranate pomegranate that I just did Ugh, just I love Moscow. It looks so good on green eyes too. Trying not to add too much, it's probably plenty. It's funny that I just barely figured out like, oh, that's why you can't do this with that right eye. And it's still adjusting, but I see uh, Smith the um, 
G-pack, like she looks down and I haven't figured out how to do that yet. How to like position my mirror down here. Okay, so that's that. And now I'm going to apply, it kind of wants like a foiled eyeshadow, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna apply maybe, so I mean, cause look at this, it's kind of light on that inner corner of the eye. So let's see, what colors do I have that, I can do this. I could do state golden, no, I don't think, I think maybe I could use Tawanda or or Sis. I think I'm gonna use Sis because it's kind of, the Tawanda is, all right, it's more, this is Sis, and then this one is Tawanda, which it looks pink, but it comes off more gold. All right, maybe I will do Tawanda. Okay, so I'm gonna do Tawanda. Versus Sis, I'm gonna do Tawanda and you guys, look at this palette. Like, I put all of my eyeshadows in here, but look how cute this is. But I have space for all of my eyeshadows. Um, I can add to it, but then I just pull them out so that I'm not, like, digging my fingernails into them trying to show you guys, so. All right, so I'm taking the, oh, what brush should I use? I'm gonna use the multi-purpose brush again, which is this flat dome, flat one, and going into Tawanda, and right here. I mean, this one wasn't supposed to be a shimmer color, but I wanted Moscow so bad. So. And just feathering it into those inner corners over the top of that Moscow. Okay, well. quite a bit transferred right there. So I'm just going to, there's no product on here. All right, now I think, I think I'll just do like a nude eyeliner in the waterline for this look. And that's what it says. So, um, yeah, awesome. Okay. Um, transition brush that doesn't have any extra product on it. I'm just going to just make sure this is blended out so there's no harsh lines right here. And I might even go back in with my pomegranate and just darken right here. And I'm definitely going to do a nude lip, but I normally do like a bright red, but I'm gonna do um, kind of a maroonish red today. This is just a Sephora pencil. I don't even know what color it is. But I'm gonna finish up my look. Um, I'm gonna put this on and I'll be back for the final look. So here's the final look. So pomegranate. Moscow, Tawanda, and then Mahiha in the crease with a little bit of chai up here to transition. I did put some glamazing underneath my eyebrow and in the inner corner of my eye, and then just a nude liner in my waterline. But here are the colors, Mahiha, Pomegranate, Moscow, and Tawanda, and I can link those for you. All right, um, yeah, I will link the colors for you, but yeah, uh, this is the final Valentine's Day look, and this is just a red look, so pop on the cheeks, which is a red color, and then I did do a, marine, the, a maroon uh, lip pencil, and then I did a little bit of nude lip and cheek in the center just to like give it a little bit of an ombre effect, but there you go, um, and don't forget, I can color match you, even if you're on the fence and you don't know if you want to order yet, it does give me some practice to color match you, and then you just have it for whenever you need it, so don't be shy, it doesn't cost you anything, and it just helps to give me practice, so send your color matches in, I will also link those, and I hope these looks have helped you just to make a Valentine's Day look, and I hope you enjoy your Valentine's Day.